Hello everyone, this is Rishabh Kortyal and today we are going to talk about your Azure region pair. So in this whole series of your five minutes video, last time we have talked about the you know, regions geography. So we'll be moving on talking about the Azure region pair as well. So what is a region pair? What are the few basic questions related to it? All of that today we are going to discuss about. So first of all, let's just jump what is the region pair and what we can do with it okay so when we are talking about the region pair there are two questions that we will be discussing here that what are the region pair and can i change the region pair okay those kind of the questions we'll be dealing with so first of all we have already talked about the regions geography but just again i want to give you a bit of the brief regarding that so when we are talking about the and azure region it is the set of your data center which is deployed within a very specific you know latency defined parameter means in a close range and they are connected through a very low latency network so that any of your azure service within a region you know they would be provided to you at the you know best performance they will be performing very best so when we are talking about the region we are simply talking that you have some of the data center in close proximity which is connected via the your you know low latency network so let's just say that if there was the data center one then there was a data center two okay and they are in the same region like we have talked about like in east US. So they will be in the close latency network and they will be providing you service best and as best as possible with the low latency so that would be a one region itself which is an azure region then we are talking about the Azure geography, which is defining an area of the world containing at least one region. Like we have the US geography, where you will be having East US, West US, West US 2, different, different region pairs. Then there come your region pairs. So, you know, region pair is going to consist of two region within same geography, first of all. So when we are talking about Azure region, it is always going to be uh, and each of these regions, when we talk about Azure regions, they are going to be paired with another region within the same geography, like in the US, uh, or if they are in the Europe, so in the Europe, right, or in the Asia, wherever they are, and they are going to be your at least 300 meters apart. So these two region pair that you are seeing, they are going to be 300 miles apart. And this approach allow for the replication of your resources, such like you know, such as like your storage service, okay, VM storage, okay, different geography, and it will help you to reduce any interruption due to the any event like natural disaster or any power outage or you know physical network outage. Maybe there is some man-made threat, okay, like terrorist threat or maybe some civil unrest is going on. So in those cases, if one region is affected, we are hoping another is working and they are paired over there, right? And if that particular region is affected by the natural disaster, what, you know, for instance, right? So some services, they would be automatically fail over to the other region into its region fair. Like your, your Azure storage account was in this, you know, one replica was, working on this pair, suddenly it goes down. Then the data that you will be accessing from that storage account that will be automatically failed over to the another region. You will be using the copy that is stored in the another region, right? So those kind of the things are there that we are usually using with the region pairs. Since the peer region is directly connected and they are far enough to be isolated, from any regional disaster, we are hoping that they are going to provide us the reliable service and the you know, data redundancy as well. And some services, they are going to offer your geo redundant storage using these your services, right? So simple example means in simple terms, what I want to say is that reason pairs, they are going to help you in your business continuity and the disaster itself. In few of the cases, not always, it is going to be, you know, all of your resources are going to be automatically replicated or start using the region pair. 
some of the services like we have the storage and if you are familiar that there are the different kind of the storage that when you create the storage account there's the option of creating the locally redundant storage or your geo redundant storage geo zone redundant storage you know zone redundant storage so one of the services like the grs that is there the storage solution right so this grs it replicate data to the secondary region automatically and ensuring that your data is durable even in the event of your primary region is not available or primary region is down due to any region okay. in those cases as well these services will be running okay now there will be many questions that if it is helping us in the disaster recovery and business continuity okay can i change my region pair okay so there are some services like i was talking about the your um, azure redundant storage you can store service grs in those case of scenario you cannot change the region pair but if you want to take advantage of the disaster recovery, it is not going to limit you uh, for the you know specific region pair only. It means there is a disaster recovery service which you create separately. There you can choose that which region you want to replicate your data. So this gives you the flexibility. But there are some services like the Azure uh, storage. Right? In the storage service, there is the GRS. That if you are selecting that your storage type is GRS, you cannot change or switch that region pair it is automatically going to switch over to the your region pair okay so this is something that you have to keep in mind in simple terms when we are talking about the azure region pair these are the two data center uh, or you know, two azure region which is 300 miles apart and the in case of failure if any failure is there you know your data some services are going to replicate over your region pair itself and when we are talking about this region pairs what as you do it serialize all the platform updates you know all the planned maintenance across the region pair means first one region will be updated then another region will be updated and it makes sure that only one region is being updated at a time so that if anything goes wrong only one region is done and its region pair is still working properly right and even in case of the natural disaster let's say that it was affecting whole geography like whole us is affected in that case as well the priority of you know let's say that we want to recover from the those disaster so priority will be first you will be recovering one region in that region pair right in each region pair you will be going ahead and recovering the one pair now if you will look into the list of the region pairs this is the different geography and their region pairs right like east asia is with the southeast asia australia east with the australia southeast brazil south is with the south central us okay like if i talk about the india central india with the south india west india with the south india japan east with the japan west in uk the uk west is with the uk south okay in us you know united states mm -hmm, okay these are the ua uh -huh, okay oh yeah here yeah. north america East US is West, West US, North America, in East US to Central US, North Central US is South Central US, West US to the West US, West US 3 with East US. So these are the kind of the pair. So if in case your East US is facing any issue, some of the services will be automatically replicated into the West US and some you have to manually start you know failover process okay so this is your disaster yeah you know, uh, it is helping you in the disaster recovery and business continuity okay so this was your azure region pair so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it like our channel and follow us for more details if you want any training regarding the cloud security and any other it technology you can visit our website which is www.infosectrain.com and we will be happy to help you wherever possible. So that's it for video. Take care, be safe, be healthy. We will meet in next video. Take care, bye-bye.